The first type of problem I'm gonna go over is how to convert from moles to molecules. So we have to understand and remember that we now know that one mole is a counting unit in chemistry and that one mole stands for 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules of a material. So if we start with 15 moles, we're going to create what's called a conversion factor. What a conversion factor does is it's a relationship. So the relationship that we know is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. So since we don't want moles anymore, we're going to put moles on the bottom because that means that when we have this, our moles is going to cancel out with each other and our answer will be in molecules because if you start with moles and you put a unit of moles on the bottom, they cancel out with each other and our answer is going to be in molecules, which is what we want. So now we're gonna take this relationship that we know and we're gonna put it into this conversion factor. We know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So really what we have here is 15 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd over one. Well, any number over one is just itself. We're gonna multiply this in order to find out how many molecules we have. So when you put that in your calculator, you should get 9.03 times 10 to the 24th molecules. Go ahead and pause the video and try to do the next one on your own. So when I do the next one, again, I want moles on the bottom. I know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And again, that means that we're gonna take 0.35 and multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd because moles is gonna cancel out and my answer is going to be in molecules. So into my calculator, I'm going to put 0.35 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And you should get 2.107 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So here on these two problems, we're given molecules and we need to figure out our number of moles. We're still going to use our relationship that we know. We know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So again, I'm going to set up my conversion factor, but this time, since I'm starting with molecules, I want my molecules to be on the bottom. So I'm going to put molecules on the bottom so that molecules cancels out and I'm gonna put mole on the top. And the relationship we know is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule. So again, now what's happening is we're gonna take 3.4 times 10 to the 26 times one, and we're gonna take one times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So what we really have here is that we've got 3.4 times 10 to the 26 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So I'm gonna put that into my calculator and since molecules cancels out, this is gonna tell me how many moles I have. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 564.8 moles. Go ahead and pause it, follow the same steps, and see if you can do the next one on your own. So again, we're going to set up our conversion factor. We want molecules on the bottom and moles on the top. And the relationship that I have is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So I'm gonna take this amount and multiply it and this and multiply it. So what I really have is 7.5 times 10 to the 19th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. 
molecules cancels out, and my answer is going to be in moles. So I'm going to have 0 0.000125 moles, or I can put this in scientific notation, 1.25 times 10 to the negative, one, two, three, four spots, negative fourth power. So either of those would be the correct answer.